I'm Alice Finch, and I'm a full-time mother and a part-time Lego builder. When I'm not building, I run the art program at my son's school. I'm currently playing piccolo in an orchestra, which is an awful lot of fun. And I even do crazy things like Morris dance. I grew up one of four children, and our life was filled with music, the outdoors, and a lot of books. My mother was a teacher, so everything we did sort of had a, a, a purpose to it, whether we were aware of it or not. My dad is a general contractor, and he has drawn plans for buildings that he has designed himself, and so I kind of grew up around house plans. I designed this house that we live in now, and so it's just something that's part of who I am. We have two children, ages 10 and 5, and both, both my boys are pretty serious builders. So we spend a lot of time in the Lego room together. And one of the reasons that I became more active in building is because I wanted to build with them instead of just clean up after them. And it was really important to me to be able to demonstrate to them that I was also capable of building. And it's really created a pretty, pretty strong bond between the three of us as we play in the Lego room together. I tend to build as accurately as possible, so that's usually my driving focus is making it look as much like the actual model that I'm building from. But also, I'm really interested in making things playable. So if I had just built the exterior of Hogwarts, it would have been much easier than trying to make the exterior and the interior work. But really, I wanted my kids to be able to play with it. And there's an awful lot of things that happen inside the castle. So I made all kinds of doors and hatches and openings so that the scenes that were there in that space could actually be um, sort of played out. When you finish a, a section or you finish an entire model, it's pretty exhilarating. Sometimes when you're working on an individual part, you're focused on the pieces. You're sort of seeing the trees and it takes a while for you to see the forest. And when you get it all laid out like this and you have everything in its little place, sometimes you just have to, <sighs> it's done now. And of course, there's always one little piece of grass or something you have to straighten up. But really, it's, um, I guess it's like writing a symphony or doing anything. You focus on the little parts until it's finished and then you can just enjoy it. I wish I could leave it in my house this way, but we kind of like to have our couches back at some point. <laughs> So when I first published pictures of this, I thought maybe I'd get a few thousand views or something like that. And within three days, I had over two million views. And I was completely overwhelmed by the response. I, I like to tell people I went from doing laundry one day to handling press requests from 15 different countries and hundreds of emails, and it was, really quite amazing to see how many people responded to it. So I'm over 7 million views now and I still, I still can hardly believe it. So what happens now? I think that maybe the most important thing to me is that people recognize women as equally capable. There just aren't that many of us who build and so when suddenly there's a female builder who is noticed, I think it's really helpful to the rest of the world to say, look, somebody else can do it too.